what up everybody it is cali brick click episode eight this is just trucking down along and with me we have claire aka plastic architect and bricks ninja or ninja with the bricks yes, how's it going sir. guys pretty good man how you doing yeah not bad i'm tired this is day nine of work i finally get a day off on friday so today's Aww. my thursday i'm exhausted i am Damn. exhausted uh, i know claire you've been working a lot too right yeah i am i'm reaching the end i think i've got what five more days of work left before my sabbatical so Ooh, trying to wrap okay. everything up no not five seven seven more days so i'm That's trying to wrap seven up. Days? Yeah, yeah more week so. okay i have a forced vacation in like i think second or first week of march i don't remember nice nice, they, nice. like like they literally fire you <laughs> <laughs> you don't break a contract and they give you a new contract that's just what happens that's crazy. it looks like you're being fired but you're not you're just like hey you no longer work here you you five days like off. yeah they just restart your skin it's just the way the the post office works as far as like employment they just got to separate the contract it, mm. it's really shady but it makes yeah, it sense sounds, sounds a little it's shady, yeah. shady um, but i mean like yeah yeah it, it's <laughs> that's how they do it for your first year and then damn it's already been a year and then um then once okay. you're second year, you're you're pretty much vested in. So that's is it a awesome. promotion okay. or just the no? They're just like here. You you have vacation time. Use it. Got it. Is this your one year anniversary then? For the most part, yeah. Nice. Congratulations. And one year, I know. Thirty eight routes. <laughs> Dang, holding it down. Uh, no, I'm tired. <laughs> and I've walked. I don't. I want to know how much I've walked in a year. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look at that. You have that on your phone, right? You have like all that data. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't start like tracking my mileage like until like three or four months in and i should have well i guess you could take a mean you know yeah you know just, just yeah. estimate yeah i, I guess yeah. we we'll do that but aside from that aside from me how how <laughs> are you guys doing <laughs> good i haven't built too much lego so and i've been a little bit behind on everybody's like videos and and whatnot so it feels like i'm a little bit separate from the community and i i miss it a lot it's like the first week since i really joined a few months ago and and yeah, I'm definitely dependent on it for sure. <laughs> yeah. I feel that. Yeah. Now I've been trying not to be too busy, but I always get off so late that I miss everything. So you can miss live streams and stuff like yeah, that. I miss, I miss it all. Has there, I mean, I haven't really seen much live streaming going on. No, I mean, I think, yeah, not really too much. There's not, I think people have been pretty chill. I wonder if people are getting burnt out. I'm really well, curious about that. I wonder since that or, well, or the world's coming back to normal. That's what I was gonna say. Like we've been busy, so maybe yeah. everyone's getting back in the into the mix. Because and, well, because like, people are yeah, stuff? people are getting vaccinated, people are a little bit more comfortable going out, things are kind of opening up now. Mm -hmm. So I feel like for the working adult, everybody just going back. Like I, I can just see it right now with what I'm delivering. Like there's not much. Really, yeah, less packages now. Yeah, less, less, less. Yeah, less packages. Less people ordering online. It's just, it's. You see people out. <laughs> Interesting. Mm -hmm. What do you think that's going to mean for the Lego community or the YouTube Lego community? Well, you're going to start seeing people posting less videos. Um, at right. least those that are working from home. That's mm -hmm. one. Like, you know, like when I was when I had COVID, I was posting a video every day, mm -hmm. almost. And then Good. once yeah. I went back to work, I'm. <laughs> at least at the most sorry at most three three times a week at the most and that's pushing it right you know what i mean so <laughs> that's the most i've that. ever posted yeah it was three three a week yeah. i mean i try to push as much as i can but like right now i just like i'm just tired like I, I just need a day off like i just need a day off just to relax i haven't even i i haven't even been able to batch record i know that's like totally your thing yeah. as well yeah like on my day because well, i haven't had a day off in like eight <laughs> nine days so like i'm exhausted my stores of uh footage that's back there and the last video i posted it literally took a lot out of me that i'm too emotionally drained to, <laughs> to yeah, even like post one. something new right now that was a great video oh, no, no, no thanks yeah. oh we'll get into that Just, in a little bit right for anyone that hasn't seen it you should definitely go check it out but come yeah. back but come yeah back. we'll get it we'll get into that. <laughs> that's gonna lead us to the deep topic but uh in the world today there's you know some serious things going on and the big one that's going around politically is you know the whole gina carano stuff um with disney and lucasfilm are you guys familiar with what's going on with her a little bit like she kind of stated her politics and and disney felt that it didn't agree they didn't agree with her and um i think they asked her to remove some social media 
posts, right? Take them down and she well, refused. I mean, she's been yeah. very vocal about what she believes yeah. in. I mean, mm -hmm. she posted a lot of messages uh, mm -hmm. pertaining uh, more aligned to the right, which is, you know, mm -hmm. her political beliefs and she's more than welcome to do whatever, you know, whatever right. she wants. Right. Um, but the last one, I think, was the, like the last straw. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was... Not, I wouldn't say necessarily terminated. She just wasn't renewed for another contract. Right. Right. Um, and there's a lot of speculation going around as far as, you know, was this just an excuse to be like, oh, finally, because we didn't we weren't gonna put her on the following year anyways, mm -hmm. her character was gonna pretty much die out, or you know, whatever. She wasn't look she wasn't scheduled for the next season, so I heard. I don't know. There's been a lot that I've been trying to like digest yeah. right. <laughs> That's going on. Um, that I'm kind of confused. Mm -hmm. No, I really don't know. If not at this point. Yeah. That's how um, I feel because everything I've heard is just like from like people off the internet. I'm, I didn't even see like the actual like what was it a tweet that she put out? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, I haven't even seen that. So yeah, there's been a lot of tweets posted up, taken down. Um, you know, but you got to look at it this way, like, and this is what's starting to make me upset. Um, because I'm not, I don't see myself more left or right in any set in, in, in any of my political viewpoints, but like. Um, well, I guess it just really just depends on what the issue is. But uh, aside from that, what's irritating about this is that this is a whole new world of censorship that I'm starting to get really pissed off about because she has a political view. And um, Pedro Pascal, like, he has his own political views, but mm -hmm. he leans further to the left, more progressive in, in, than most people. And he's very vocal about his stuff. Mm -hmm. And he his stuff is allowed to, i mean he is asked to remove some things from here or there but he's not punished as hard or he's forgiven very easily for what he writes but she isn't and i think as, as, I'm, as i'm starting to look around social media and, and 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 what's allowed to be on the internet it's like if you're not a leftist like whatever your viewpoint should be condemned that, that's what i'm trying to see everywhere well do you think it's because like of the specific like silo that like you live in and that you operate in that it is majority left and so when there is that one off you know what i mean it does get shut down because i do feel that way here as well like especially in san francisco you know what i mean if you're not 100 percent with like status quo it's not particularly this this the safest socially right for you i mean th th there definitely are a lot of people like the entire middle section of the state is red you know but at the same time, like it's not 100% agreeable. But if 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 you were the one person that was left in like a totally right scenario, you would probably feel the same way. And we just happen to live in completely left silos. Uh, you know I mean? Well, where I live specifically in LA, mm -hmm. it's like half, half okay. of our left, half our right. It's it's really like when the whole election was going down, I had a name, like, <laughs> my routes, like I would see like a Trump flag right next to a Biden flag and they're literally facing each other. That's how funny it was. But mm -hmm. even amongst my own friends, at least in my motorcycle, mm -hmm. uh, half of them were right and half of them were left. And it's really funny when we get into like political blows because <laughs> fists start mm -hmm. to happen. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> but it's uh, deep, yeah, it, yeah it, it's not, I mean, we it gets it's pretty civil i will say but like you know it, it, sorry like i don't know a helicopter is flying over by. all right um i i wouldn't I, I, this is what i'm seeing sorry i just lost my train of thought what i'm trying to project here is what i'm seeing on the internet not necessarily what's around me physically so okay. like yeah that's you know, very different from yeah. social media platforms via facebook youtube or even on the news or mm -hmm. even articles Okay. So you're seeing people being condemned for their viewpoints. And I've been listening to Ben Shapiro a lot. <laughs> I don't know if I should be. Um, it's just because his, his viewpoints are very like on the opposite of what I normally believe in. But okay. like, it's, it's just good to hear another viewpoint. Just absolutely. Yeah. That's critically and all that kind of stuff. And mm -hmm. he raises a lot of great points, especially, you know, how he's aligning with her, with the, 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 the left, just completely silencing the right. And I do see, what he says is somewhat valid. I mean, it makes sense as I'm watching it unfold, especially now when yeah. she's being canceled out and like, you know, mm -hmm. Pedro Pascal is not, is not like if you were to hold them two to the same playing field and they both should shut the hell up. You know what I mean? If you want to hold your people in that same standard that your political view should not be projected no matter what side it is. And you can't choose because what she's saying is valid and or invalid versus Pedro. That kind of falls like like under the censorship. Like 
you can't just let it go because you don't like what they're saying. Like exactly. They're they're yeah. entitled to their own opinion. Like if but, you can share your opinion. But also at the same time, it's a private company and they can renew or not renew and whoever's con- contract that they want. And, you know, as a, a person and an employee of that company, I, at least every place I've worked, when you, you sign, you know, a piece of paper saying, even when you're not at work, you are representing the company. You are yeah, that's true. at all times a representation of the company. So you need to be conscious of that. So if she signed a contract saying something like that, or he signed a contract saying something, you know what I mean? They like, they, yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's the yeah. whole celebrity thing to begin yeah. with. Like people say that it's just not good to put out your political views, but then you have, have like a half your view- yeah, yeah, and you have a platform, but half your viewership is like one way, half your viewership is the other. And if you do mm-hmm. one, you isolate the other group. Um, right. But when you look at large artists like Taylor Swift, when she finally came out with her political view agenda is like, mm-hmm. that was, that was extremely welcomed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Versus, you know, her where she's not as large, not even remotely close, destroyed for what well, she Well, I have a couple of thoughts on that. Um, do you think it has to do with like likability? Like especially her versus Pedro Pascal. I don't know anything about her character that she played on Mandalorian. I feel like but, it was such a small part. Okay. But like is there wrong, is there a chance that you know, maybe she's just not as likable as him and or as likable as I mean, him. if you're looking at character wise, he's <laughs> he's, he's the main. main. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. He, if you were to disappear, it kind of destroys the whole show where she is somewhat I guess she can be re- recasted, but I mean like they could just like know. kill her off in the story. They could, I mean, but but she's also up, like but... stereotypically like she's like a loud, outspoken woman, right? Yeah, and, like yeah, exactly. Leading towards something else. So, yeah. like, is it possible that that's just unlikable? I don't know. I'm not trying to make. I mean, she she projects herself as a strong woman. I mean, she's an MMA fighter. Like, yeah. she's very. She says what she believes in. So, is that yeah. a threat? That's what I don't know. I don't know. I'm really not trying to like man like transition this into like some kind of you know f- feminist rhetoric. But it's just I, there. I think people do get treated differently, not just because of the views, but also. Or their, their political views, but also their likability. I think, especially with celebrities, I think it would be impo- naive to say that. That's true, because you look at Taylor yeah. Swift, who is, you know, all American girl, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Very <laughs> petite, blonde, cute. Exactly. Well versus, spoken. yeah. Versus, and then, you know, where she's <clears throat> like muscular, strong, outspoken, right. you know, yeah. says, what she, says, says what she believes in. And, well, I mean, Taylor does too, but I mean, in, in another form. So that could yeah. be. That's she's a lot more calculated. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, do you think I it could be that she had the Star Wars, like the Star Wars fans against her too? Like, or or for her? Who knows? I yeah, know. Could be. I mean, like, I, I don't know. I, you the know more Star Wars I read fans, they get it, crazy, it, man. Yeah, that's true. The more I read into it, it's just like, uh, it's like another rabbit hole you just can't get out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Agreed. It's definitely complicated. Well, yeah, that because there were a lot of that we're hearing and what we're reading about is like hearsay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what a lot of the news is yes, the media right yeah so i don't know do you, want, I, do you want to keep diving into this hole or do you want to move on i think we i think let's get, let's move on because we have a really good topic for today that i think we've all thought about and is like totally relevant as well okay um, cool but before yeah. we get to that deep topic though lego wise oh yeah video yeah ninja i'm <laughs> i'm i'll be honest i'm down for it you are i'm down I'm about to I do don't... a video of destroying it. Why? Really? You think it's I'm gonna this... fail or what? Well, no, not necessarily. I, I don't want it to fail. I don't want any license license <laughs> Lego um, IP to, to yeah. fail. I, I don't want that. I, I want all their themes to succeed in any any form. The reason why I want to destroy it or necessarily don't agree with it is the whole Lego trying to become a tech thing and i get why they're doing i'm not i'm not gonna fight that you know we're losing they're the biggest competitors lego's biggest competitor is the video game that's Mm -hmm. literally the the main threat and they're trying trying to to keep that together yeah but it goes against what lego as is against the video game you know what i mean it's more like they're trying to sleep with a devil at this point but like Mm -hmm. they are what i use to pull my son out of the video game 
Mm-hmm. Put the oh, tablet really? down. Yeah. yeah. Like, I want them to play. I want them, to, you know, I don't want them to be stuck on a screen even more than he already is. This just links right. that together. You know what I mean? That, and that's where the video is going to pretty much go. I think if I get it right, like against is like, I, I don't like the whole hidden side play feature. I don't like the whole next one. night's play feature. I don't like this. Like, I want Lego to be a play toy, not link it into what looking at your cell phone even further than they already yeah. do. You know what I mean? See, that's, that's how I feel. I like, I like the parts, but you know, like I'm a I'm a Lego fan, so yeah. Of course, the parts draw me in, but yeah. as far as the app, yeah, I don't, I don't think like even the hidden side. It was just it was too it was boring. It you played it once, you, you're like, okay, cool, and then that's it. And yeah. then yeah, there's nothing it's pulling not, you back in. It's not like a complex video game where you're invested for hours on end, or mm-hmm. something as simple as Mario Kart where you're like just racing each other where you're, you know, it's not like that. It's not going to have that type of attention. And, and and it's, I think it's not going to do well because I, I mean, there, there's also another social media platform that's trying to like put out there. That's supposed to be safe for kids. Yeah. Now you're pretty much teaching kids to be on social media. <laughs> yeah. See, that's, it's like way. going against. Yeah. I feel you. It's, you know what I mean? it, it's literally a contradiction. Mm-hmm. How about, and, okay, but, but it is also like, it's not like they're trying to transition all their themes, right? It's just this one, you know, or if it's like a small handful, right? They don't do yeah. the majority of their stuff isn't trying to be digitized, you know, in any way whatsoever. But at the same time, it also, it's not for us. It's not for yeah, that's true. this year. You know what I mean? It's like, it's for, and maybe it's not even for kids that are, you know, Ezra's age or whatever. It's maybe it's for somebody a little bit older and it's kind of like a good middle ground. It's like, if you, if, I don't know, I can imagine if you're a parent that can't get your kids off of video games, maybe this is like a stepping stone. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, get I them. Creativity you know, wise, I think it's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Like, you, like you, you can make, a, you know, music videos and stuff like that, which is pretty, mm-hmm. you know, which is something I can run with. Right. The, 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 the issue that I have is that it's not Lego anymore. The app, yeah. See. You know what I mean? That's what it's it is. Like, it's not. But, you're no longer building anything. Look, look, look what you're doing. You're scanning a brick. Yeah, you're just building it. a little stage, and you're building, and that's oh, it. They look cool though. But is Lego boxes. only building, or is Lego play as well? Hey, play. that's true. Play. play well. So play. is it? Yeah, how play. is this not play? It doesn't prom- for me. It just doesn't it's, promote it. It's not playing with the bricks. This yeah, is playing, playing with, the with your phone. Yeah, Got you're it. more on your phone. Okay. So that that's my main issue with it. Um, that's fair. So, but yeah, either way, I think, I think the figure looks, the figures are cool. The set looks pretty cool. Awesome, yeah. I hope the box thing isn't real. Uh, like I think forward. it's real. It's well, going, going forward with CMS. I mean, oh with God. all the other CMS. Oh. I don't think they're going to do CMS. I think it's just for this. I hope it's just for this. But what, I don't know anything like that. Like I'm not, I mean, wouldn't they have in? <laughs> series 21? Wouldn't that have been in box if they were, I don't know. Wouldn't they I have mean, been? series 21 may have been done before a video. As yeah. Far as packaging sure. and roll out as far as that's concerned like i don't think video was done yet or was scheduled to be released before so who knows if this might be their testing ground true that is true yes we'll find out <laughs> and that sucks because they put all these good figures in these boxes so we can't just be like dope. i'm not I buying like a huge coachella <laughs> type of <laughs> music festival right they all have some Party. kind of instrument yeah. i'm down for that See? they're super cool i like that they're all like different animals like I want I think, that shark dude. Yeah, I think shark I, I like the llama guy too. I want the shark dude so bad. <laughs> Damn, see, some of those tiles are pretty cool too. Can't lie. Yeah. No, oh, no. Everything like that it's in that line looks really cool, and I hope that's at least enough to like keep the theme going for a couple of years. I don't know. I think it's. I think years. it's just this yeah. is it. This is it. To be this honest. is one hit. Well, we'll yeah, see because because like we're gonna release. I just feel like the app is not because they they have Lego Life, don't they? Like that's basically it, it, like. I mean, I don't know if that's successful right now. Yeah, I don't think it is. Honestly, it's like Instagram, but for kids. I mean, I can't I can't I talk know. to it because I don't use it, and yeah, I don't see many kids using it. But I don't, I don't know about that. Like, I don't know. Go. That's the answer right there. Yeah, nobody but nobody uses I, it. No, I'm just <laughs> done. This is the target demo. This is the market research right here. Right. There you go, Lego. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, are you guys gonna get video when, upon release? Yeah, I, yeah. How much you I, can? Yeah, I, I don't know if it's like a day one thing, but maybe like a couple of them. There's this one of them. I think it's the llama. Like those little. I like that they're kind of 
um, uh, small, compact play thing. Uh, like, I really like stuff like that. Touching on your Polly Pocket feels. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Polly Pocket feel, exactly, which I'm I like mean, totally those, into those, right well, There's only four of them, right? Where they come that little clear box thing and has pretty much everything that you need. I mean, that's pretty yeah. cool. That it's that's really cool. Long, though, right? You could just so, start going. That, that I think I'll probably get one of those. The llama one has all these really cool primary colors that I really like on it. And so okay. it's like aesthetically pleasing to me because mm -hmm. of the, like the colors palette. And it's like, you don't actually see that really often um, with Lego anymore. You know, there's like the friends, extreme neons and stuff, which I love. And then there's kind of like the, the grays of star Wars. And then there's like the Browns of a lot of the, the adult stuff. So I, I'm really, I'm excited to, to see that. Yeah. These ones really, they, they like pop. They say. pop. They do. They pop in a different way than a lot of other stuff. So, and the prints on the figs, I'm telling man, I'm digging it. I, I hope it does well, but I like. I feel you, shy. I don't think it's gonna go what far because just because the app. Yeah, and they're gonna. It's, I mean, it's a gimmick in yeah. the end of the day. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. And I don't think. I mean, even when I was working for Lego, like if we always felt the audience. You know what I mean? If you if you have a, a parent that doesn't want their kid to be playing on the phone, then you you know push the other way. Like, oh, it's still a cool mm -hmm. set. We can do blah blah blah. If mm -hmm. you don't, if you feel like the parents don't care and they like the whole digital aspect, then you know you run with it. So okay. you can you can go either way with it. And and when when parents used to tell us like, well, I don't want my kids playing with the phone. I'm like, well, you don't have to. <laughs> right. Yeah. You just, the sets are still cool enough as they are. You don't have to like get them into the digital spectrum. So you could run with it. I personally just don't like the way Lego's going. Um, or at least what they're trying to do. And I, but I still get it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a survival mechanism. You know what I mean? Like they're so beyond the other toy stuff. Like what they have to compete against is this other world that is so leaps and bounds beyond them as well. Also, I think they're going with boxes because a, a lot of kids, like, I don't know. I don't know if like your kids are into this shy, but my kids like love blind box things. Like, my I, I just like to open boxes. Yeah, maybe that's what it is too. <laughs> like that's because that. no, no, because they, you know, he, he's been getting a lot of the Jurassic World blind bags. Okay, um, but it, like he'll grab one, and they're pretty cheap, so they're like it doesn't really hurt. But like, if See. there's a box version of something else, he would rather get the box over right. the bag, which is See, interesting. I, I wonder if that is. I wonder where that comes from. Yeah. Yeah, that too. I, 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 I wonder if that's going to make video <laughs> fail. Because if, uh, like, if a kid goes to a parent with a video box or like a uh, some random blind bag, like, oh, I'll get they'll like basically they're like choose one. They'll probably pick like the blind bag instead of the box. Because aren't the boxes like the the big boxes are like sixteen, right? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, but then the the, the minifigures are coming in boxes. They're not coming in blind bags. I think they're like five bucks still, right? Yeah, I think they're still the same price. You just can't yeah. feel them at this point. Okay, well, let's scratch that last one. Then. <laughs> <laughs> go for the well, Lego. Don't go for the blind bags. <laughs> With that being said, what was the last thing you guys all bought? Lego-wise? Me the Medieval Blacksmith. Really? Yeah. That's right. the last thing. And when was that? Pretty recently. I, I think I bought it the day it came out. No more friend so sets? Beginning of Fe February 1st. Shit, no, I bought some friend sets. You spent more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been buying friend well, sets. Um, when was the last purchase? Dang. Oh, I, I think I think I might have bought some, I think I might have slipped something in an Amazon cart today. Dang Slipped yo. it in there. See? The addiction is real. Man, I, I I'm telling you, I, I'm like. I'm a ninja with my my skills, man. Like, I got it on lock. The last thing I bought was that Frankenstein brickhead for Miss Neverland because she wanted it. God damn. Yeah, man. But no, that was recently. That was, that was <laughs> that was when was that? When was that? <laughs> that was for Valentine's Day. So it was recently. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought you but, meant like you bought like a Halloween. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> but no, I, I got the I got the addiction on lock. Because I have an addictive personality, so I gotta watch myself. Yeah. Yeah, I bought something yesterday. <laughs> what did you get? It was just a minifigure off Brick Mania. It wasn't like anything big, but it, you know, it is a pro And I also got something from Lego Shop at Home just so I can get the coin. Uh, is there a new coin? Or no, no. I, I wanted to get the castle coin before it disappeared. Oh, okay. I at least want the castle, pirates, and space. I don't care about the other two. Classic space, baby. 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I mean, Octane is pretty dope, but I want to know what that fifth coin is. So I know it's gold, it's, but I think it's just like a gold Lego VIP. Or coin. maybe it's just like isn't the back of the coin the Lego VIP? Mm-hmm. So maybe the fifth coin is a secret. Maybe I think it just looks like a stud. I don't think you're starting a conspiracy theory right now. I don't know. Watch, I'm calling it. <laughs> so what's it, the coin? It showed it when you on the back. when you look at the uh, when it showed the what, what was it like the big five coin case? Yeah, it showed um, all five, five in there, and yeah, there's so a gold. The, but don't they all have the same back? The Lego, like the one in the middle, right? Yeah, well, it says no it says VIP. Though. I'm pretty sure it says VIP on the back. But the fifth one, it just said like Lego in a circle, almost like like a stud. Uh, like if you're looking at a one by one stud. I need to look at that photo again. I, I just thought it was like a surprise, which would be pretty cool if it was. Like, but, but yeah, that's not that's not solid. I'm not. I can't say that no, that's no. what it is. But it could have just been a filler, like you said. I'm just saying, like, but it, I, I'm down if it's just a Lego coin. It's still kind of cool. Like it's just all gold. Yeah, I think, I think a lot of people like that one too. I mm -hmm. I've heard that. With like VIP on the back. Well, either way, Mark's coming around and double VIP. So I'm definitely gonna buy something because that's two coins that you can get later. Mm -hmm. At least yeah. like hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Yes. Sir. So yeah. I, I mean, I've been. <laughs> my wife's been pissed. <laughs> I've been buying <laughs> so much, at least in the past couple of months. So like, I've been trying very hard not to buy anything. Luckily, right now, Lego doesn't really. They're not keeping themselves themselves in like stock, which is good online wise. <laughs> yeah, and then, I want, but yeah. And yeah. then I have everything that I can get at like a target or Walmart already. <laughs> That's really? that I want. How can you say that? Is it because you haven't found friends yet? <laughs> okay. Like, okay. A vlog that I was supposed to post like two weeks ago before, no, even before you got into friends. Okay. I looked at, Friend, friend sets and i was like i should buy this like i really want the like the cin the, the cinema one yeah yes, i was about really, to say that. that one's like really cute but like yeah. i have palace cinema i don't need my city doesn't need it so like but they have some good stuff and i'm like this is really I, and it sucks because like th that's where i'm at right now it's like i don't need anything right now and i look wow. at the friend stuff I'm like well this is it's kind of this cool, is right? cool it's i could and it could be the X-rated theater, like in your city, or oh no! Once oh, Ryan decides to send my package to me, right? That's <laughs> um, the the strip club from Citizen Brick. Like I'm gonna get some friends just to make it into a brown mushroom. chicken brown. Yeah, are you, you gonna put mini dolls? You can make a whole red light. I, could, I don't know. I'm that that could be something. Wow, this Claire is will probably be... destroy me by putting like <laughs> female mini dolls in a strip club. You know what I mean? Like if I'm gonna do it, so I'm gonna be destroyed. Why would I get mad at you? It's a reality of life. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm you just got the right green now. light. <laughs> I just got the green light. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you I was know, gonna make it a. I was gonna make it like um equal opportunity. Day out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I put men in there, and I can't really get. <laughs> I can't really get yeah. for that. Yeah, there's there's men, mini dolls. You can put mini figures too. Yeah, and you got and that is a shirt on. You got to be like body positive, body neutral. Have both mini dolls and mini figs and right. figs and the smaller micro. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> actually freaky. Well, either way, once I once Ryan ever decides it to me, I'm gonna make it into a modular. I just don't know how I'm gonna do it. I mean, I do want to like put Central Perk in and mm -hmm. um, be. What's the other one? The Big Bang Theory one, Big or Bang the Theory into a modular into one modular, okay. and then I was thinking maybe put the strip club on the top or something. I don't know. Yeah. Just so that we can have them all in one building, but we'll see. I don't know. I was looking at friend sets because there's nothing else that I want, and um, that's the thing right there. I am trying to find something to buy <laughs> from Lego or a Lego product, and I think that's a problem that a lot of us Lego enthusiasts have. I mean, all I see are haul videos. <laughs> Those haul <laughs> videos are dangerous, man. They are dangerous. I, I have one coming up. I'm just like waiting for one thing to come in, and I'll make another one. <laughs> There's a and reason it, I try not to do them, by the way, because it like it encourages me to buy. Get, yeah, to buy mm -hmm. even more so. I, mean, I do don't very do well. You should See, try that's, one. That's that's the problem. They do well. Yeah, that's yeah. And, 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 yeah. like we want like our audience and ourselves want to know what you're buying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's the key. <laughs> that's the key to succeeding on YouTube is like have a like go to the store, get five thousand dollars with Lego, and then make a video out of it. And I guarantee you that's gonna be your most viewed video that you've had in a while. Is that oh see, that's what I did wrong. I know, but like I don't <laughs> that just I d I don't know. I can't wrap my mind around that. I don't know why. I just I can't. 
Hall videos do it's, well. I know. I know. Trust me. I know. I'm very aware. I watch them. I, that's how I found your channel. Through my whole video. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh, oh. Like you're like big, epic, stupid, ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to get my wife's going to kick me out. Hall, you know, <laughs> and my videos, ha my hauls haven't been as big for a while. And well, I do have something pretty big coming through, but <laughs> it's just gonna kill me. Oh, that's the addiction. Yeah, it, it's bad because it's third party stuff, and that thing, you know, those are like three times the price of what Lego is. So that's why I want to look at Lego yeah, stuff. I'm like, eh. That's true. Lego <laughs> stuff is so nothing bad. to you. It's not so bad. It doesn't hurt as much, but it still does. I don't know why. Like, I, I, I'm more than willing to spend something that's three times more for something small, and I don't feel so bad. But then when it's like something this big and it's from Lego, I'm like, oh no, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I think it's like out of reach. Something like that. Yeah, what? like oh, yeah. it's expensive. But I'm like, well, I'm so easy. Like, it doesn't hurt me to get the same thing in a smaller. I don't know why. I'm Either way, I have about a like, you have a problem. Do you you're have talking about like the brick mania stuff. I have a problem. Oh, I have. I I was gonna say, are you talking about like the brick mania stuff? No, I'm just saying trying to buy Lego in general. I'd like most of the half of the Lego community at least. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, I mean, I I don't know. For me, I, I feel like it's kind of easy because, like, I've I've struggled with addiction back in the day, so I, I had to learn how to really handle that. So I think that's why I'm really good at like stepping away like you know i don't i don't need that i'm just gonna walk away like i don't know i think that's probably why i do that because because i do see that a lot a lot of people buy stuff that they don't really need but they're just buying to buy but but do you think it's the lego or is it like like a shopping addiction an oniomania or no yeah that's what it's called right i think so i think we googled it and that's yeah. oniomania also known as a compulsive buying disorder, CBD, a behavioral disorder characterized by an obsession with spending money and mm -hmm. an unstable urge to buy things, typically resulting in adverse consequences. So technically, it's not really a problem until it starts to impact your life. Exactly. Right? Yeah. That's yeah. Which, which, which is most disorders, essentially, is like when it starts to become a negative effect on yeah. your lifestyle or those that you love, then it's a problem. That's when it's bad. Yeah. So like, I you... have had that my whole life outside of lego excuse me i need to go take care of my child one second <laughs> oh. see that like like me like like say if i have a certain amount and i know I, I know that you know the rent has to get paid stuff like that like i'm not gonna go out and spend it but some people do have that addiction strong enough that they'll actually go out and buy say like like a four of, yeah, like a car. <laughs> well, I but, think you know, like extreme people that buy like stuff on sale and they'll like see something even if they don't need it and they'll buy like it's on sale. It. yeah, and they're like, but oh, it's on the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think, well, I think he, oh, buddy. you know, I don't, I don't want to speak ill, but like you know, he's at a point right now where he's he does you know he still keeps up with Lego. He's like very much part of the community, but he's not building right now. Um, and he's still buying a lot and he has access to like extreme sales that most of us don't. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, as the community probably encourage him to go buy that stuff because he tells us we react to it. We're like, Oh my God, you're so lucky you can get that stuff. And so it, positive <laughs> reinforcement. Absolutely. Kinda, and yeah. We're we like enabling. Yeah. That's true. I mean, we do, we do support us buying stuff. Like I'm asking you guys last time you guys bought something. And if you haven't bought anything in a while, I'm like, Hey, well, check this out. I mean, we, we do it for ourselves. <laughs> like, look what I bought. Like, look, this is on sale. I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> yeah. And at least for me, that was like part of the reason why I wanted to be part of this community is because I wanted to share my love for this stuff with, with people and, you know, find other people that felt the right. same way. And then without judgment, Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to judge you. I mean, I might, but maybe, maybe like, you know, friends said it's not. <laughs> but well, like, because you said you weren't supposed to buy a thing in January and then you couldn't even last like a week. I I mean, that's, yeah. that's why the judgment comes. It's not because <laughs> you get yeah, that's like, where that's coming from. Yeah. If you never said that, I would have never, <laughs> never judged you for it. Yeah. I mean, the thing, <laughs> the thing is, it's like, I, because I do recognize when, I'm buying too much. You know what I mean? I've never bought anything that's like outside of my means. And I think that's really mm -hmm. important that people don't do that. Um, but a lot of the reason I work so hard, a lot of the reason I have, you know, my job for so long was to be able to support, you know, you know, frivolous spending and, 
I don't have dependents right now, so I can do that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I, I think joining the community and like the excitement of it, I bought a lot, like right at the beginning, a lot, a lot, a lot. And it scared me. So I was like, I need to not do this. I need to like go cold turkey. But like, if anyone has any kind of like knowledge with addiction, that doesn't really work a lot of the time. Yeah, tough. And that actually ends up having like a backwards effect and people react to it negatively. And don't get me wrong. I don't have like the um, knowledge base, the experience, the education to like speak about addiction when it comes to like the chemical and like therapeutic needs that are there. And, like what the happened. Dopamine release. Dopamine. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I mean, I know how I feel. I know that when I go and spend a ton of money sometimes at, like that high of like when you do that when you have like that I mean, there's three highs to lego there's yeah. three highs that's the excitement when you buy it mm -hmm. there's the excitement yeah. while you're building it and then there's a satisfaction when you're done yeah and then sharing it with our and then more for us because we're part of this community and we share yeah. it and we talk about it and we create more content about it you know what i mean it's just like it's it's, it's a super it's, high it's yeah, a, it's yeah. i think a lot of people miss the fact though that you could you can break down the set and you could build something else too. Like that's, that's another high for people. Mm -hmm. Like mock building, but I guess that, that falls into building. So. Yeah. I mean, so that's would you call three. those guys addicted? I mean, they're actually being more. I would say, yeah. Cause <laughs> I think, well, yeah, I guess it depends what level. Yeah. Those huge mock builders, I think are actually spending more money than some of them. Yeah. Those. Cause you're like, Oh man, I need, but I think they're, all building, they're, they're buying out of necessity because they're trying to accomplish a, a, P, a masterpiece of some kind. It's versus true. us to just like, oh, I want to buy this new friend set. That's true. Yeah. So, <laughs> true. so like, yeah. like, like well, with me, like walking down Target, like I don't need anything on the aisle. There's just, really nothing online that allows me to want to buy something because everything is not restocked. And then like I'm looking at the Lego aisle and like, what can I buy? And I, I'm in, I'm in Friends because I don't have nothing in Friends. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> what, should, what should I buy out of Friends? Before yeah, you know, it, I'm gonna just start buying all this Duplo stuff. The struggle I mean, is real. The new Duplo, the Duplo, Duplo set is yeah, the Chinese Duplo set that's a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Hey, some of those Duplo sets are expensive. They're super expensive, and I'm like, who is buying this? I like, I if it like for kids, it's kind of a crazy thought to buy that for kids. And maybe I get it for like someone, you know, in like palliative care, like someone older that like you know doesn't have the strength to like put smaller bricks together, and like the Duplo would help, but like. It's not the same. Yeah, it's not the same. You could still use Duplo bricks pretty cleverly in your city. You can, and yeah. you can use them for like support and stuff. Support mainly, like to, to hold up facades and things like that, because they still are compatible with the regular brick. Yep. True. True. Mm -hmm. true. Either way. Not, not Quattro, right? Quattro is not. Yeah, I don't, well, I don't know. I don't know. Actually. Oh, sure. Hmm. So, with that being said, do you guys feel like you're addicted to Lego? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can't yes. drop it for like a week. Oh, I could drop it for a week. I think so. Like not like, thinking about it. No, no, not anymore. Yeah, not so since we're, like in this community. Yeah, since yeah, we're forever stuck. Okay, that's it. But yeah. do you think you're addicted to buying it? No, I mean you're not. We know you're I'm not. not. Yeah, oh, you're good. I'm flexing that. This, this though. I'm flexing that. No. <laughs> yeah, this question was for myself and Claire. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I do struggle though. Sometimes I'll be, I'll have it in the cart and I'm like, eh, nah, I'll put it back though. Yeah. I'm I still struggle. <laughs> you are. I think I've been doing better. Mm -hmm. Cause like I'm looking at stuff. On, I, I still check all the sites. Like, you know, my, mm -hmm. my, my rounds go through starting with Lego. I'll go from Lego. Then I'll start going through like brick mania. And then I'll go from there. I'll go to Eclipse. Then I'll go to citizen brick and then I'll go to minifit co. And then I'll just start going through all the third party stuff. Okay. And yeah, and then I start going to like ones I don't frequently visit, like Brick Tactical, Brick Attic, like you know, um, all these other ones that uh, K Town Bricks, like all these other sites that I don't buy a lot from, but I do find it interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and then venture through Brick Vault and see what they have, and then I do well with not buying anything. See, um, it's, it's good to look though, because sometimes you stumble across stuff that's like limited edition. Like that's how I found the. Uh, that m m fig like i was just yeah. randomly searching through stuff mm -hmm. i was like oh, i think the most dangerous one though is ebay so yes, that's definitely. my circle so i don't so i start i don't even start with lego like i know where lego's at there's like the things on my wanted list there that are out of stock that i check to see if they're back in stock and that's it and that's like the only and then i go immediately to a to ebay and immediately to facebook marketplace and it 
it's aggressive. It's like aggressive the way that I can dig into those. Right. And eBay sends me notifications too. Like, oh, look, this is on sale. Don't forget. And I'm like, oh, it's yeah. real bad. It's real bad. But like, that uh, makes it tough. Is it successful? Like, to are they successful in getting your business right now? 100%. Oh. I, I've loosened up on the eBay. I've gotten a lot better. I'm going to get my computer charger. It's about to die. Yeah, go ahead. See, I've been doing really well with not going on eBay because when I see stuff on eBay, I, I always find deals and I'm like, eh. <laughs> and it's really right. hard to like not jump on it, especially because we all know Lego is very hard to come by, especially with all the sets. And if you see a nice. deal, like you just can't help by passing. So I think that's what eBay and Facebook Marketplace can be very dangerous. <laughs> that's so true. Very, I, very I, I stay off of them now, honestly, because you're right. You, hop, you uh, come across those deals that you're just like, I can't pass that up. Like, I just can't. Exactly. So that's, so. you know, the, th the third party marketplace is just like that too, because they don't come in mass. Like yeah. if like Brickmania were come out with this cool tank, they're only going to make a hundred copies of it. They might not restock it for years or never make it again. And then, you, you know, it's, it's even more FOMO than Lego. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's like, so it's exclusive. Yeah. Very exclusive. But the that's kind of what I was saying earlier. Cause like, I thought you were talking about like, um, the difference of you picking up like a, a random set as opposed to a brick mania set. And I was just thinking like, you'll probably go for the brick mania because you have uh, the rarity, a better connection to that, you know? Yeah. Uh, but at this point now, like if it doesn't just because I have no room and they're extremely expensive and I'm trying to be good, <laughs> literally <laughs> trying to be good. I've been like holding off on buying a lot of these third party stuff because they're, you know, three times the price than they are a Lego set. Yeah. And Lego's been coming out with some killer things, and thank God they haven't come out with anything crazy or at least announced anything that's driving me to their store anytime soon. Because mm -hmm. um, the Porsche is all right. The Porsche is cool, but I mean, I don't, I don't. It's all right. It doesn't yeah. call me. So if a Brick Mania set or any other third party set doesn't call me, like I need that, then I'm not even going to entertain the idea of trying to convince myself to get it. That's good. Oh that's yeah. Because I think that's a lot to do with it. It's like when we, when you are addicted to buying Lego, like you try to rationalize why you should buy a Lego set. Like, is it on sale? Uh, am I going to be able to resell this later when you know you're not going to sell it at all? Yeah. Like, oh, am, I getting I get value for am I getting value for it? Oh, yeah, you know, pieces per, you know, price per piece mm -hmm. is perfect. It's, it's, you know, blah, 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 blah. You can make up whatever excuse you want, but like you're trying to find reasons to buy the set when in right. reality, you don't really need it because you're not making anything out of it aside from building it and then just clicking dust. That Absolutely. is true. That, that kind of ties in with like the FOMO thing you're talking about because sometimes mm -hmm. you just buy a set. You're like, oh, what if it retires? Like I got the uh, the Disney Castle. I was like, oh, it's about to retire, and it's still it's still for sale, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. I don't think that thing's gonna go on. Like that, they that got me. That set's too iconic for Disney people that they're not gonna yeah. retire at least within the near future. They probably will, but not right now. They have, yeah. they would have to replace it with something just as epic and. And the right train's now, not Disney doing doesn't it. have anything like that. That's more iconic than that castle because that's in every Disney movie yeah, or that's, show. That's like the icon right there. It's yeah. the icon. So like, like yeah, I don't think they're gonna ever retire it. Um, like they tried with the train, but it's just it's not. It's not, it's not an icon. It's not the, same. the train is cool, but it's not. It's very isolated as far as Disney is concerned. Yeah. Like it's Disney California. That, that's exactly. Where it is. You know, it's not yeah. the Disney Castle. Like the Cinderella's Castle is literally in every movie. Like you can't. That yeah. Intro, yeah. Yeah, you can, yeah, that's the intro. They're, they're not going to find anything like more iconic than that, though. But I not, no. think I'm going. I have a feeling that my addiction is going to like loosen up a little bit, and I'm going to get a little bit healthier because um, I'm thinking about moving, and I think that, and then space, space, and moving is like a huge thing, and it's actually helping because at the end of the day, I've realized that I do want to have a city, but I don't have the room for it the way that I want to have it here. And so a lot of my motivation. You to just like turn your living room into a Lego room. I can't. I tried that. So, you know, I did that to like my dining room table and it did give me, it was like too much clutter, too much anxiety. I put shelves like kind of in this corridor right here. They're like right behind me. There are shelves right now that are full of Lego and I don't like it. It's too busy. I don't, I don't like it. I want like something a lot cleaner and I'm okay waiting until I have that space to do that. And I think that's going to, lighten the 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 spending because a lot of times I, I find myself justifying buying things because of how I think I could do a city with it and how I could you know what I mean it's like part yeah. of that whole look 
and I'm starting to like break down stuff and put it in containers um, away from dust. And I think seeing that in the containers is going to like mentally give me the jolt that I needed to kind of loosen up, I think, with the spending. Yeah. yeah that, that so. does like control yourself. I think it will. I think it yeah. will. Yeah. And then I think getting back to like normal life and like, you know, taking this like sabbatical, like I'm really hoping that, you know, I'm going to not be a hundred percent focused on, on Lego. And, and I still want to pr produce like content and be part of the community and stuff, but I, I need a little bit more normalcy. Like COVID has been really hard for me. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you yeah. definitely took it seriously. Like you kept yourself away from people. That's for sure. Which, yeah. which majority of America should have done, but you know, it's kind of hard. It's a very hard place to do that, <laughs> but no, but you, which brings to another point, like, I made a video and it, it completely drained me in making content. Like I, I've invested a lot into that emotionally. <laughs> Definitely put your heart in um, that one. Yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. Like I could, I, it, once I completed it, like I never watched it again. Like it, it was it, I posted it up. I haven't even, I've looked at like some of the comments mm -hmm. um, and like, I'm like trying to just wait till they accumulate and then just attack them all at once. I'm going to respond to every single one of those. Cause it looks like it's mainly positive. Um, that's and a lot of people were, that. you know, saying some pretty heartfelt things in there about their mm -hmm. own experience, things like that. I got a lot of DMs. Like the DMs are ridiculous on my I'm Instagram. Sure. I'm it's, sure. Because a lot of people just yeah. don't want to put their own issues out on, on comments, and they're literally, which is fair. Yeah, yeah, they're literally pouring it all out in on my Insta, on my Insta DMs, and it's pretty crazy. I've never had so many people. Just maybe you shouldn't just do guys. it all at once. That seems like a lot. I think no, it is. It's a lot right now. I think there's over yeah. seventy comments just with yeah. pretty but for yourself. At least a, 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 two thirds of them being very heavy comments. Mm -hmm. um, it was a heavy topic. So yeah, it was a very heavy topic, and like <laughs> and you created a never... space for people to talk about that. I think that was like you know really one of the most important things. And I think in the Lego community, there's not a lot of space for that. You know, like. Yeah, I feel like, like people I still think a, that's I pulled taboo. Out my or... Pistol on a Lego video. Yeah, yeah. That, I was like, <laughs> "That's a nice bicycle, right?" <laughs> I mean, like, but it, I had to pull it out to get my point across, and that was the thing. Like, it, it had it. It was necessary for reality because mm -hmm. I'm already Definitely. showing other stuff in there. What's the difference? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm, I put combat yeah. footage in there. I mean, you're okay. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> oh I don't know what He's trying going to... on, but <laughs> your cat's going that. crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Another yeah. kid, just just yeah, another just kid. like another kid. But now that that video, like I said, I think right now in the or not right now, but I just think in the Lego community in general, in general, <laughs> genital. <laughs> genital. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I know your mind that bro right now. I mean, hey. I get it. <laughs> it's the tongue. It's okay. Whoops. <laughs> but no, I think in general, I think uh, that is just like a, a taboo subject for people. But it's it's real. Like, like that's people really have it. And then think, especially in the Lego space, because like building Lego kind of helps with like symptoms like that. You know, like PTSD. Because you could just disconnect. Yeah, I, I think. Like in my personal stuff, like if I'm just in a bad headspace, like you just disconnect and you build. What's it's a drug. Of? Yeah, and I think people also come to YouTube to escape their reality a little bit, even if they're not coming to the Lego community, like other other communities here. Mm -hmm. You know, I definitely did that with the beauty community for a long time. You know, I was in grad school. I was overworked. I didn't feel. <laughs> I didn't feel good about myself. So I started getting into makeup and the community and it was nowhere near the same as this one, but it was a nice distraction to like think about, you know, blush and cosmetics versus yeah, to yeah or like out. plastic bricks, you know, like mm -hmm. I haven't, I haven't built anything in a week. So like, you know, I'm doing it now on, on our podcast because it feels good and I need to relax and, you know, I need it. No, I see. So need that. this, this yeah. is a drug. You need that rush. Like I mean, you're it, getting. Is it a drug getting, or is it um, is it a therapy? It could be both. A little bit you know, of both. Drugs doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. You yeah, all that's, take that's drugs, and you can so, abuse drugs. You can. You can, know? and we yeah. abuse Lego. That's that's where it gets bad. Drug abuse is bad. Yeah. 
Exactly. But I mean, drug drugs are bad too. <laughs> okay. 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 It has its purpose. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it like, depends. I mean, let's 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 break it down. Street okay. drugs are bad. If you're, Do you if believe you're in legalizing and decriminalizing drugs? Like marijuana? The topic. Yeah, I like it. marijuana, I, I don't think it's a drug, but like drugs? <laughs> Why not? It's the, it, does, it, has, it, it provides chemical ba- imbalance to your body. So Yeah, but how is alcohol legal and not that? Exactly. That's, yeah, that's yeah, what I think. Alcohol is one of the worst drugs out there. Yeah. Alcohol is causes the most, de- most deaths, most addiction, causes the mm-hmm. most harm. It has see, so many health impacts, like over the long term, like versus marijuana. Use of it. And and you know what? When I was a kid, everyone would always say marijuana is the gateway drug. But if you look at all addicts, they start with alcohol first. So yeah. how's how's marijuana the gateway drug? Exactly. It's it's. I mean, it's schedule one for a reason. I mean, like the whole. I mean, we can get into this part of the topic. I don't. I don't want to. But the whole drug war and drug thing was not intended for what it. We believe it was. Yeah. Um, it was definitely a means of control, uh, but yeah. it, it, it obviously didn't work. Like, how do you get more time for rocks versus co- like powdered cocaine? You it doesn't make I mean? sense. Yeah, like powdered sense. cocaine is pretty much the same. You know, you have to have money for that, whereas rocks you don't, and yeah. you get more screwed over for rocks than you mm-hmm. were powdered cocaine. Well, either way, um, yes. I per- I per- like I had a viewpoint. Like my my degree. Because I was going to go to law was criminology, criminal justice, like that. That was my, what I graduated school for, and like with my mm-hmm. bachelor's, and I took a course on drug abuse and addiction, mm-hmm. right? And what I learned, I went. A lot of us went in there like thinking drugs are bad, <laughs> right? Okay. My my professor, she is one of the. She's on the board for Dance Safe. I don't know if you've heard of that, Claire. They're yeah. they're. I think I think it's what it is. I think it's dance is drug safe or dance something like that. But you'll find them like at EDC, Coachella, um, any okay. of the any of the the music. The big, the big, okay, and they're, think, they're like kind of watching over people and stuff. Well, what? what they do is they test your drugs for you. Oh yeah, 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 sure good. yeah, yeah. I've definitely seen them. Yes, yeah, so, so that yeah. way you know that whatever you're taking is pure. Yeah, see, yeah. that's but that's it's not cut with anything. It's exactly, like, and a lot of people think that has a reverse effect of like being a negative thing, like you're promoting drugs. Like, no, we're making sure people don't die. <laughs> yeah, that's also like people, like especially here in San Francisco, like the city will like hand out clean needles. Yeah, for heroin users. Yeah, because yeah. we have like a massive heroin problem here, and people are using it like in the street. See, that's that's yeah, that I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Really complicated. That's yeah, complicated, that, yeah, we we yeah. we definitely dove that as one of our topics. I mean, our whole I wrote a whole paper on that, and like I went into it writing the paper mm-hmm. with like, yeah, this is you know this shouldn't be we shouldn't have heroin free at, uh centers where they can come in and shoot themselves up. Um, yeah, but then when I did the research and I did all the data, I'm like, well, you know, they're a safe environment. The needles are clean. They're going to do it anyway. There's some there's, crazy data out there. There's yeah, there's, I'm like, oh, well, yeah, it makes sense. But then, like, the whole idea of it promoting it definitely went out the window. I feel right. like that's enabling, though. That's well, just I think enabling, enabling is, like, when, I don't, first of all. But then you're like, here's clean needles. Go ahead. You know? No, but then, like, in these in these centers, they also have a lot of media and things that will help you get out of this and that's yeah, what they try to promote. yeah it's almost like it's almost like um like a dog treat to like kind of get you in i think yeah I see. So they bring you in they're like okay you need to get off this yeah okay so I mean, like leading the horse to the water and they're like exactly i think that oh, maybe you could drink i think it. that's the thought process. yeah that's yeah, yeah that, that's the purpose of it. it's not just the i mean we want you to be safe regardless they're going to yeah, use it anyways at least let's bring them here where we can put it in a controlled environment where you're not risking like getting killed and you're not like selling your body to get yeah. you know drugs like at least it's here it's clean um you're not getting your you're not putting yourself in more danger by selling your house just to get more product and yeah. we're also going to try to promote you to not get off so we're going to promote you for you to get off the drug yeah right. yeah think- it's going to be in their face that they have like yeah. somewhere you have like they have people to help exactly That's they're not alone because you know, ultimately it comes down to you know what's going on around you and you, you definitely need a push to go the other way anyway that's where my talk i'm not trying to dive into that but like the whole drug thing of being you know legalized de- legalized decriminalized i guess is the best way to put it it's just you know like you don't go to prison for 50 years for snorting cocaine <laughs> i know mean, i can uh, yeah or actually I see that. crack would be the better better analogy like, I, for that. 
I feel that because look, like, like out here, there's people, you know, it, it's weed is legal out here, you know. Yeah. And people just have it all over. But I have a friend in another state, and it's not legal. And like, there's still people going to jail for it, and that just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't. It needs to be federally at this point federally descheduled because every that's still yeah. scheduled one drug in, in in the federal government. So like, it's really annoying. <laughs> but yeah. either way, like, let's say we decriminalize a lot of our our schedule one drugs which is like cocaine heroin all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. um how much violence would stop south of the border i don't because we're because we're, like... now companies are able to create it you know you, they're they're available that's the main source of their income down there yeah yeah i see i, I see that it'll kind of like street value it out, gonna drop. yeah it's gonna drop but yeah, marijuana street value like there is no street value anymore because we can buy yeah, it. Go to shops now. Yeah. Shops. That's, that's you know true, what I mean? Yeah, I know people and they're like, store. Yeah. yeah, you can get pure. You can get some crazy, crazy stuff now. But then, like, Exotic you don't stuff need now, to yes. go to a dealer down the corner no. to get marijuana. You don't need to no. put yourself in danger. You can. You yeah, you don't put yourself in danger. There's no exactly. You know, shout out to shout out to people like that because they they made the homie get his life straight. <laughs> He's yeah. like, I can't do this no more. I can't compete with the shops. <laughs> so with that Just being said, side note, <laughs> <laughs> note we're, we're leading it back to the, the, the whole Lego thing. I, I personally feel like Lego is one of my drugs. Like I made that perfectly clear in my video that, it, you know, it does a lot to help me. Definitely. Um, it definitely releases dopamine in my mind, especially when I need it the most. When, you know, my, I, I when I have post-traumatic stress, mm-hmm. when I have nightmares, my, the chemicals in my brain are unbalanced. That's pretty much what it is. That's the reason why I take the medication that I do right now. I don't like taking the medication. I hate it. It makes me drowsy. Like it makes me tired. Like I, I don't like it. I don't want the side mm-hmm. effects. But Lego does the same, almost the same thing, not necessarily, but it does help. It changes like the medication. Yeah, like when you're building or like the whole process, like buying everything, everything, everything. the whole community. Buy, yeah. Buying, <laughs> yeah. building, like you know, everything, all, even like all putting in your steps, steps, yeah. all help mm-hmm. so buying, building, completion, displaying. like mm-hmm. displaying satisfaction, like yeah. all three of those, like it does that, but it's always oh. temporary. Like most drugs are, it's yeah, that's why you, 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 yeah. you buy more and you buy more and you buy more and you keep doing it over and over again. You start buying all the friend sets, which is a never ending thing. <laughs> I don't and even then, like you, this know, you're, you look like an addict, like, like just I'm buying your arm, like, I'm and more, and then, vintage and your wife gets pissed off because it's overflowing your house. It becomes a problem. And now you have a Lego <laughs> drug addiction. Why are you buying Duplo? Oh, I, I need it. I need it. <laughs> it's for support. So, for it not to be a problem, you have to be able to control it, which is, you know, essentially how you control addiction is is moderation. Yeah, pretty much. Just like a, anything out of moderation, that's when it gets bad. So, yeah, even too much sugar is bad for you. Oh yeah, of course. You know, uh, just a little bit more than 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 a, a little bit of sugar is bad for you. Sugar bad, 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 bad. I see. Sugar, sugar bad. Sugar, bad sugar. Super bad. Sugar well, all sugar. Bad. Sugar is so bad for you. It is like, I am such a conspiracy theorist with sugar. I am convinced that it's worse for you than pot, than it's just, it is is so bad for you. I think like, I I use the word pot. Um, I don't know anyone who's used the word pot. It's that boomer energy. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) At least you didn't call it dope. Yeah, dope. (laughs) That's the old smoke dope. Smoking that dope. No. That's funny. I don't, I don't know. I saw just, just the, I know I know we just cut you off clear, but I just want to bring something up. When I was doing my route, like three well, I was doing a route like last week. There was two cops that pulled over these two kids, which is kind of jacked up because they're just riding their bicycles. But the way they said it, the way they asked this question was, Do you do you smoke marijuana? But they didn't use in that terminology, it was extremely like, the hell did you just say? <laughs> That's what it reminded me of right now. Same pot. They didn't use the word pot. I wonder what they also used. I don't. Know. I don't. I mean, did I just like date myself? Is that what I just? Well, the, the term, when you say pot, it feels like a uh, anti marijuana commercial. Does it really? In my in the way I see it, because th- that's the terminology, the the slang that they use in all those videos and dare. That's so funny. Yeah, I am a kid. I am that a part is... dare. Even oh, though it didn't, dang, work. Dare. It didn't dare work. didn't work. It didn't work. Yeah, those shirts were cool though but that's, that's i still it. have mine i still have mine I, oh, really? <laughs> I dare came back and they try to revamp the way they do things and i think no. it's a little bit 
more appropriate now, but it's not getting it's not, in trouble. It's, it's not right. fear based. Like it no, <laughs> drugs are bad. Don't do drugs. Okay. Okay. And I'm not necessarily meaning like you know, I I recommend you don't do drugs if you don't need to do it. Don't do it. I definitely don't do anything. I mean, I've done a lot of it, so but I, I don't recommend it at all. It's not worth it. Mm-mm, I don't stay green. Stay green. <laughs> no man, don't even do that. <laughs> don't even do it. <laughs> If you don't need to j- dive into those substances, just don't. Even drinking, like if you don't need to do it, then don't. Definitely stick with the Lego. That's I mean, I will. I will say, like, since as far as anything schedule one wise, and what I mean by schedule, like, so for those of you who don't know what the hell I'm talking about, dr- illicit drugs are all are placed in different schedules, or drugs in general are placed in different schedules. Schedule one being no one can touch it. Schedule two meaning you can touch it if the government allows you to do it. I think for three, that might Is be that- three. But wouldn't well three is you need a doctor's you need a doctor's um uh permission you, to that. you need yeah. a prescription and yeah. then four is stuff you can get over the counter. Okay. Those are the four okay. types of schedules. So schedule one is like marijuana, cocaine, heroin, um, any of those LSD and all that kind of stuff. That that's all government control. And for you to utilize that, the government has to give it to you. Like there's a there is a college, I think it's the University of Tennessee, I think, I think, that grows marijuana for the government yeah it's yeah i've heard about that oh, wow. so they're like yeah that, that, that's how you control control something but you diverted again um what was i saying schedule one? Oh yeah, yeah so about the schedules yeah i haven't Just, done anything schedule one wise since my kids were born let alone get drunk i haven't been drunk since my kids were born hey see that's that's good. That completely flipped. Like after I got in the Marine Corps, I started playing with stuff just because my mindset was pretty jacked up. Mm-hmm. Um, but like once my kids were born, that was it. I have not been high. I haven't touched, even thought about it. Um, like I haven't, I don't even get drunk. Like I'll have a few beers, maybe like a cocktail and then that's it. Dang, see. Man. <laughs> I don't want to get canceled, but <laughs> I mean, I just see, put it all on the table. Like, see, I, I, I feel like I've been more free with who I am. In the yeah, past I don't. Week. I don't want to get canceled. Yeah, you're all the way up, but see, I don't. I don't drink, but I, I, I do uh, have a medicinal card. <laughs> out here. You don't I need do one. Take. What are you yeah, talking I don't about? even need one. But you don't need one anymore. <laughs> you don't need one anymore. Part take. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, if you want to do that, you want to do what you're going to do as long as long as it doesn't harm yourself or your family. Exactly. That's that's what I was going to say. Do what you do. Like I said, because back in the day, I it was it was it was way deep. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole, but that's when I learned. Like, yeah, I got to control myself because I have an addictive personality. Mm -hmm. But but I, I yeah, you know, like I don't just be smoking all day every day like you know i still yeah. still have a job i still take care of my family and stuff you know but i do like to ease my mind and stuff but that's where it comes in like the control comes into play you know but you're also mm-hmm. an adult you know that's like yeah, exactly I'm, that's, I'm an adult. it's a little bit different but i think i don't know I, I i think that you know everything within reason obviously and as long as exactly. you control yourself and then like if someone you know if you're not harming people in your life then than whatever. But I, I think a lot of our social situations in this country are set up around alcohol. And I think there's a lot of big problems with that. You, yeah, you, yeah, like I had no intention of ever drinking really when I went to college. I drank, like I started, you know, kind of experimenting and stuff um, in high school. And I went to college and I actually didn't drink for the first six months. And I was lonely and I had like, you know, social anxiety. And I was, Mm -hmm. I wasn't really able to make friends. And the second I decided to start drinking, that all went away. And it took me a few years to like develop social skills that were outside of, you know, alcohol. So would you say you were like peer pressured then into drinking? Absolutely. I think the way our social constructs are, because it's like, you know, you want to go to parties, you want to interact with people. And I, Mm -hmm. I always, I love dancing and I love parties and stuff, but you couldn't have those things without drinking. And then I even think now dating is also very much 
um, consumed and overshadowed by alcohol. Like even if true, yeah. you go online or you meet somebody in person, it's like you get asked out to a restaurant or to, to grab a drink. It's like rarely do people, you know, I think now with COVID things are a little bit different because you can't go a lot of places. So people will go to the park, have a picnic, you know, go for coffee, yeah. things like that. But a lot of a lot of these social interactions and how you like meet significant others is based around alcohol, which is fundamentally setting ourselves up for failure. That like how, true. and those are developmental years where we're learning how to interact and how to behave and how to form human connections as adults, and they're based on alcohol. Yeah, that's true. Because that's yeah. that's kind of what I did when I was younger. Like, oh, let's go to the beach. Okay, well, who's bringing the beer? Like, it, it always true. had to be someone yeah. bringing something. Yeah. Someone's bringing yeah. something or you like want to go out with your friends and like flirt with people. Oh, okay. That means let's you're going to play game. Let's go to the bar. Let's get like a little buzz. Let's like flirt around. You know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. if you need what liquid courage to like, you know, mm -hmm. you know, the, come on. It's like, you know, we're, courage, yeah. and then, and then you spend a chunk of your adult life then figuring out how to cope and exit that scenario that you had been sucked into. You know what I mean? And it's like, and you're constantly like having a battle and then relearn those like social anxieties or those interactions that you should have probably developed at a younger age that were shadowed by alcohol. Definitely. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I totally so, get that. Yeah. So with that being said, would you say that you have an addictive personality also? Yeah, absolutely. I absolutely have an addictive personality. I always have. Um, I definitely think it's genetic. I got it from my mom. Absolutely. Right. Um, and saw her struggle with like a lot of different demons and when, you know, at the end, she suffered from a lot of mental health stuff. She, she had a brain cancer. So her entire chemistry was um, destroyed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when something like that happens and, and, you know, you know, drinking was an outlet and, and also controlling food as an outlet, you know, like um, mm -hmm. anorexia, bulimia, those are, they attract a lot of really addictive people with like control. Um or lack thereof control. There's like a bunch of different ways you can look at it. I think um, I absolutely have an addictive personality. Shopping, absolutely. Collecting, I collect cookbooks, shoes, cosmetics, Lego, Starbucks mugs that look that oh are my goodness. Graphic, like nice. all that stuff. Yeah, it's just like, and I, I am constantly, luckily I'm super organized and I love space planning. So my house is immaculate and it's like, you know, everything is, you know, put behind. Where's the alcohol? Yeah, There's your little alcohol cart. Um, but I haven't touched alcohol. <laughs> I haven't, I've had maybe two drinks, three drinks max in a year. But here's yeah, my alcohol. That is. There's okay. your bar. Yeah, there's my bar. Okay. But I also love to throw parties, and that's what that's for. It's for other people, not just myself. So. Social drinking, like, you know. Yeah. Take but, the edge off. But see, that, that falls in line, too. Like, moderation. It's not bad that you have a bar. It's not. I, but no. I'm also okay. I think all adults have, like, a liquor cabinet. I have a pretty nice one. If mm -hmm. I never drink again, though, I think I'd be fine. Yeah, I'd be more than fine. I don't, but if I never drink. bought Lego again, I'd be sad. Like I don't even drink, but I still have some whiskey in the freezer just in oh, case. Oh yeah, whiskey does sound good right now. I, will say. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a glass. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a glass of good. Well, I mean, look. So <laughs> I was like, like you, I was, I was not really into drinking, mm -hmm. but like when you join the Marine Corps, like. Our whole like drug of choice is alcohol. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, our, yeah. our whole branch was founded back in 1775 in a bar, in a pub. That's oh, literally that's where we were founded. And every year we have a ball, November 10th on our birthday, and there is massive drinking all over the place. It doesn't matter that you're not 21 yet. They will shove a beer down your throat when you're 17. Like, yeah, just, just don't go off base or just make sure you're around us. Like, because we don't want the cops to pull you over or the MPs. Like, that's just, <laughs> you stay with us. But, um, it, we have this thing called mess night or dining ins. Mess night is like just Marines. Dining in would be you can invite your significant other. Mm -hmm. And what this is, is like a sorority like, or not sorority, like fraternity or sorority like yeah. ceremony of what you have to do, like how you eat, how you talk, like there's proper like etiquette, like, like orientation rules. Almost. No, it's just rules. Like if oh, I can't okay. touch my plate until the president of the mess eats. Oh, I see. Okay. I can't speak unless I say, oh, it's Mr. 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 It's yeah, it's, it's yeah. really ceremonial and it's, 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 that's not the point. The mm -hmm. point is to fuck up and to like literally catch people messing up because mm -hmm. if you mess up, there's a toilet right there filled with different types of alcohol, just filled. 
and you got a drink. It's filled. We call it the grog. And if you mess up, you got to go over there. And see, the thing is, if like someone above you and who's smart, like a higher ranking NCO or staff NCO or your officer messes up, because this happened to me a lot, where my, my first sergeant would mess up and then walk over there and drink a glass and be like, hey, the first sergeant's drinking, you know what y'all need to do. You go so then we all go over there and we all drink. So like the, the ceremony, ceremonial eating gets harder to do because we're all getting trashed. Dang, so by the end that's... of the day, we're all pissed drunk. And then our wives have to go pick us home. But like, <laughs> so you have to drink. You can't, you yeah, can't you be like, can. you know what? No, I'm no, not. drink or not. Okay. You're ordered that's to drink. Crazy. <laughs> so um, better hold that liquor. Damn, and then the next crazy. day we're going to, we're going to run five miles. Cause it's funny. Oh, we're all going to throw up. <laughs> so, Damn. You're, 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 you're mute. <laughs> why did they do that? Why did they That's push just train? Of life. That's training. Why is it like part of like the the sorry, is it part of the brainwashing? Like I don't understand. Like, why do you have to well, Marines remember we're Yeah, but you're supposed to be at like, you know, premium physical shape. And like, why are you encouraged and forced to drink? Because it's fun. <laughs> it's not fun for everybody. I think, I think it, it builds like a connection, I would say. Yeah, it, it's mainly it builds camaraderie. Because what yeah. your end of the day, what you're trying to do is you're trying to one up each other, like the coin thing. Yeah, that, like yeah. Like here's here's one example. Like uh, maybe it's a new thing. Sergeant, Mess, Sergeant Thompson requests to speak to the rest of the, to to whatever. Go ahead. All right. Here, uh, say it ain't so, guys. Say it, uh, Marines. I haven't done this in a long time. Corporal Ninja decided to sleep on his post on this day on this day mm -hmm. but not only that he was on his phone with so-and-so's wife oh. and everyone's like say it ain't so say it ain't so now i just out on him in front of everybody and then the president of the mess now or the sergeant of the mess has to be like was that true and then it's pretty much like a court case well and it's called it's like summer camp with alcohol and yes. and yes. and like fueled dudes in a room together and but women and women, but don't you think this kind of like sort of boys club behavior is like not yes. okay? I, I think it's like, like you said, though, it's like hazing. It's hazing. So. No, it, it, it's straight up hazing. That's what it is. But like, we're all taking part of it. Like, no one's exempt from the rules. So to be mm -hmm. hazed, to be properly hazed, like, I have to make you do something that I won't do myself. Yeah. The, okay. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Like if I, if I push if I'm doing ten pushups with you and you're doing ten pushups, I'm not hazing you. It's like I'm doing it with you. More. So if the if the highest officer ranking officer in the mess is drinking with me, it's not hazing by definition. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. It's you're not being forced. To do that, that Marines, I know it's like I said, it's a very like very cultish atmosphere. Well, yeah, it's like a group dynamic. It's like group mentality. It's herd mentality, right? And it's like. It's one thing for it to be the Marines. I think it's when it works, like theoretically it's regulated to a degree and there's a purpose and a goal to creating the camaraderie to fight and to defend our country. Right. But like, what is the point of it in Greek life and in colleges? And you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that's yeah. Well, that's a whole different subject. <laughs> yeah, but, but a lot of that is emulated. Like everything that yeah. you said, I've heard of it before and I have nothing to do with the military. And I know exactly that kind of attitude. <laughs> that kind of training and it's like it's i have a visceral reaction against it, it i mean it's a, in a way it tests loyalty that's what it does right? i get that i do get that i i get that in that scenario but i think it also uh pr promotes like um i don't know Isolation. i don't know I, yeah i think um if if yeah i don't know i need to really think about it maybe this, is, it, maybe this is an extra topic <laughs> I mean, you, you could use it again as, as a whole you know Attain to the military, but there, you know, there's going to be some serious rebuttals to that. <laughs> um, if we were to attack the military with something like that, but no, it was sororities not... and, and fraternities, I do yeah. understand how that could be a problem for like the civilian life where you're now forcing That's people to do things against their will. Yeah. You know, if they don't mm -hmm. do it, they're going to be, you know, ostracized, just like what we're doing now. When you, when you have an opinion, you can be censored. Yeah, I, 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 that's what I'm trying to say. I actually don't, I understand where it needs to come from, from the military. Like there is a different life that needs to be led to succeed in that world. And then I think there's civilian life. And, and I don't think that Greek life, like what we call Greek life in the U S is a good thing. No, 
Exactly. Plus, I think uh, with the military, it's it's not really the same. Like with with the fraternities and stuff, they're forcing you to do something. Like you said, Shai, like they're not doing it, you're doing it. But with the military, it's all a group thing. So I think that's kind of different. No, but even if like you see like, you know, you see what, like an older person, you know, like you're big or whatever it's called, like doing having bad behavior and it also you think it's okay to behave that way. And then you take those practices and you, you, that's how you interact with the world outside of it. And then those practices are, are continued at bars and other social situations. It's, it's really hard to exit that. You know, like I remember I went to school on the East coast and like in the tri-state area and then I graduated and then I would go out with my friends, like when I'd go back and visit in like Hoboken and in other kind of, you know, towns that are like kind of around New York where people congregate, you know, at post-college because it's like a little bit cheaper, you know, than living like right in Manhattan or whatever. And in Westchester, I think in Pennsylvania, outside of Philly is the same thing. And it's just like, a, it's like someone took a bunch of these universities, took all the D-bags and all the dimwits together <laughs> and like put them there for them to get drunk and continue behaving like that. And there is a reason that I look significantly younger than most of the people I went to college with is because I stopped behaving, drinking alcohol and treating my body like shit. Like that's, that's it. Anyway, that's my little sh- like soapbox. I'm sorry. I just, yeah. <laughs> I like it. No. no, it was a good one. You said something that I was going to bring it back to Lego, but now I just completely forgot what it was. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was like, you said it. I was like, oh, that was a perfect segue to bring it back to, and then I, then you went that way. And I was just like, oh, now I was just, entertained by what you were saying and oh, trying okay. to okay, okay, okay. <laughs> just like now I just forgot what I was supposed to say <laughs> completely. All I know is that so I'm trying to like ring it back <laughs> to try to remember in my head if I can't. Uh, I'm so whoa, there we go. So with that, what you just said right there, like we're, we're technically forcing people to drink, right? So do you think mm-hmm. us as a Lego community are kind of forcing each other to buy more Lego? I don't think it's forced. It's I really not for I think I think we're just making it harder for others to control themselves. Yeah. We're not, we're not telling each other to stop buying. <laughs> and we're not we're not like, hey, go buy this. We're just like, hey, I got this. Like I I went against my own self control and got all this. We're not like, hey, you should go out and buy all this stuff too. I mean so sometimes it's kind of their choice. Sometimes we're like, I mean, it's so good, you have to get it. Like we do say that. True. People. That is, yeah. I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, oh, this set's sick. It's gonna disappear. You need to get a you know, Millennium Falcon. Hasn't been restocked in forever. If you don't pick it up, you never that. get it. Dang, I got, that's, yeah. That's I got true. peer pressured into buying Hogwarts Castle probably earlier than I needed to. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, See, yeah. Okay. In a way, we are kind of doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to each other. It's true. Um, not intentionally at most times, but we are technically enabling each other. Mm-hmm become lego addicts yeah. oh done that's it. Did it. that was a good closer done. that's a way to finish it so damn it we didn't do it again <laughs> next week oh yeah <laughs> that was my bad right again. Ninja, ninja channel we are failing at this miserably I know, hey, man, it's it's because i'm underground you know we gotta wait to the oh, end what? you got if you're a real one you you know where it's coming yeah so in rotation underground Ninja will be leading the next one. Do we have a topic? Oh, man. I was thinking of one, but I kind of lost it because I was focused on this one. But I'll think of it again. (laughs) Well, topic is uh, to be determined. To be determined. Find out when we actually uh, post it. So, surprise, surprise. Mm -hmm. But does anyone have any last round before we end it? I mean, today was a good one. We are longer than I expected, that's for sure. It was was a good one, I think. Mm -hmm. Um. As far as like a last statement, I would say just uh, keep your uh, keep control of your self control. You know what I'm saying? Don't lose it because abuse is is a fine line. So don't abuse the Lego. <laughs> yeah, but still love it. Still buy it. If it's starting to impact your family, your your financials, like anything, if it starts to hurt and you don't okay. realize it, like look around and if it is then you have a problem and you need to chill yeah if you're not able to like you know pay for important things in your life if you're not able to have like the freedoms and the safeties that you need then it's probably not worth it if something were to happen to you tomorrow where you lost your income and you can't spend it because you spent everything on lego then there's a problem 
Yeah, that's a very yes. like, crude way of looking at it. That's called abuse. Yeah, then you're abusing yeah. a problem. Yeah. Cool. Walk and away. we'll leave you at that. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, guys. So uh, thank you for making it all the way to the end. We appreciate all of you. And uh, we'll see you on the next uh, Cali Brick Click. All right, guys. Be easy. Peace.